Hey everyone, Justin from Core Performance here, and we are joined by a very special guest today, Trung from We Go Home, and he's here because we have something really special we want to share with everybody, and it has a little bit something to do with what's in front of us here. So Trung, why don't you tell us a little bit about kind of how this started and your own experiences that kind of led up to you and I having the conversations that put us here today. Yeah, absolutely, Justin. First off, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Yeah. Man. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to uh, tour your facility and how, how amazing it is and how much of uh, work that you put into this. So well, it's not just me. I, you, let's be honest. Like I'm, not, I'm doing the least amount of work. It's really the team that's made all this magic happen. So You got a great you know, team. Thank you. Well, to be honest, Justin, you know, from my past experience being in a Ranger Regiment leading up to law enforcement, I do a lot of training with weighted vests. And I've used combat vests mm -hmm. as a platform during training. And I felt like there was just a lot of loopholes, a lot of cons with it that, that, that was not performing up to my standard. And you've been using like your duty play carrier. That's correct. Right. And so for everybody in the audience that doesn't know where you come from, okay, so you spent some time in the military. That's right. Correct. And then you were with LAPD and then uh, your current department now. Yep. Can you kind of take us through like where you started in the military and like kind of where you are today and where you're going? Yeah, absolutely. So I started in the Ranger Regiment. I grew up there in 275. Uh, so we do a lot of, my, our squad leader is a big plate carrier work, uh, workout fanatic. So we would go out there with our plate carriers that were issued to us to where out in the field going on runs, go, uh, climbing the old course or, or you know, doing uh, PT, uh, push-ups, sit-ups, you know, anything like that, pull-ups. And uh, what I found out about wearing that type of equipment that is made for combat and, and well, physical training is that the, the material itself was not uh, made for PT because was, there was a lot of chafing involved, mm -hmm. restrictive breathing. Uh, it's just it was choking me in certain areas and certain movements that I was doing. Yeah. So uh, you know, taking that and applying it to uh, my law enforcement career, which is I'm on a full-time SWAT team. I do a lot of plate carrier training with that too, and I I, I use a specific carrier uh, to train with it also. But it, it's the same uh, issue, uh, you know, it's restrictive breathing. It's not created for. Uh, uh, physical fitness because of the material that's used it causes chafing. I'm, I'm saying a lot of same pain points, guys, because those things matter, especially when you're doing physical training yep. and when you're doing what you do in the field. They're, those are two separate things. Yep. And the movements are a kind of uh, more uh, complex, only lifting and stuff like that you, you wouldn't be doing uh, when you're hitting the door, yep. right? you know? So mm -hmm. you need, uh, like in combat, you need a specific types of equipment. In physical training, you need a specific type of material. Right, because when you're when you're training, right, you have a specific mission, yes. and your mission is physical fitness because it is one of many components yeah. to whatever our professional duties and responsibilities yeah. are. Right, so you, just like when we're on the job, we need to be able to focus mm -hmm. on the actual task at hand, which is physical fitness. Yes, right, and maximize our opportunities there because we all know like when you're on the job full time especially like you're busy your yep. schedule's packed right you got you got the job you got overtime you got to make every minute when you're actually working out as efficient as possible and maximize your return absolutely right and and, and another thing i want to point out justin like uh what the one thing i love about this this piece of equipment that, that, that we created is that it's mimics almost exactly like my play carrier mm -hmm. meaning i want something that uh, I'm able to be uh, worn, be comfortable with that weight so that when I wear it in, uh, during operations, it's almost the same transfer over, but not in terms of material, if right. that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. so yeah, ergonomically, you want the the vest, the, the weighted training vest to perform the same as a plate carrier, but only ergonomically. You yep. don't want the user experience and the user interface to be the same because it's not the same job. Absolutely not. Yeah. So. That led to Trung and I having some conversations uh, a couple times in Georgia, and then a little bit later here, and uh, you know we kind of threw some ideas around. Trung basically told me what he didn't want to see, yeah. <laughs> right? What, what the problems were, which is super helpful. And I told him like, dude, I've got these sketches. I've had them. I've just been looking for an opportunity to turn these sketches into something real, yeah, right? Absolutely. So uh, I, I told him like, hey, give us a, a few months, right? And uh, and I'm going to turn these sketches over to the team, turn them loose, and they're going to turn it into some magic. 
And that magic is now here before you guys today in the form of what we call Ice Plate XO XFT. And we're really, really excited to bring it to you guys because, you know, uh, I am nowhere near the athlete that Trung is, but in the course of my workouts over the course of both my professional career before this and, and as well as now, I ran into a ton of these problems. I didn't like any of the offerings out there. They were really uncomfortable, but things designed for combat you know, they just had things where it was like, you know, for instance, we both like to do these workouts, and as, as well, a lot of our, our friends that do this do, mm -hmm. we all like to do these workouts without a shirt on, right? You're Absolutely. usually doing it in the summertime, it's hot, and and it's just like, that's just kind of how it's done, yep. right? And, and you know, we don't do these things in air-conditioned environments. Absolutely not. And when you work out without a shirt on, that's one thing, but when you work out without a shirt on and then you add a weighted training vest to it, that's a whole different thing. Whole different thing. And so we wanted, I, I knew from my own experiences, from Trung and I's conversations, we wanted to make sure that this thing could perform at the highest possible level. It needed to not be a hindrance, it needed to be a tool. It needed to be a springboard, a catapult to help you, like everything else that we design and build here at Corporate Romance, like everything that We Go Home stands for and does in your supplements, right? Yep. It had to help you be the greatest version of yourself. 100%. And now we've got that. So uh, we actually just got back um, a little bit ago from the gym where Trunk tested out the vest for the first time. So do you want to share your experiences in uh, Ice Plate XO XFT for the first time with the audience? Yeah, absolutely. So um, mind you guys, uh, I've also trained in... Uh, weighted vest created for the gym and there's a lot of things that are uncomfortable with that especially the, with the restrictive breathing it rides too high uh the material that's being used uh from the outside to the inside you know it, that chafing that that occurs over time from your skin to the to the play carrier and i can tell you wearing this it's like wearing a silk robe like literally there's no other way to explain it you know i'm i'm here sprinting i'm doing burpees i'm doing pull-ups I, you know, none of this caused any kind of chafing. I didn't, I did not feel uncomfortable at all. Uh, there was no restrictive breathing. I could breathe uh, very normally. Uh, when I was doing sprints, I noticed that the, the, the vest does not move uh, like a lot of places do. Like I, when, I knew, when I wear my vest at times, I have to use my thumbs and I, I would have, kind of have to kind of hold it in place and I would run like this. And it was like super uncomfortable. Yeah. But with this, with this baby on, I didn't need to do all that. My, my, my hands were f as free as, as I would if I was not wearing one. Right, which is exactly right. It's not an impediment. It, Absolutely not. Right, it has to blend in and almost oh. be as invisible as possible. Oh. And that was a huge objective um, in our design process. So let's just make sure that we cover for the audience. I mean, when we did a workout uh, with Trung here just a, a little bit ago, we made sure we covered everything, right? So we did, let's see, we did the ski erg, yep. right? And uh, you did bar muscle ups, Yep. you did ring dips, uh, pull ups. I think you did some pull ups. You did burpees. Uh, ring muscle ups. I think you did a few of those. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, burpees, uh, box jumps. Yep. Uh, what else did we cover? Sprinting. Oh, yeah. Sprinting. Uh, distance runs. Distance eight, runs. 800 meters. Yep. Um, I mean, it was everything. Ball, ball, ball shots, and everything. Then, and then slams. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that was, we were trying to find every possible movement where we could set up the Ice Plate XO XFT for failure. And I don't think we found it. No, it's, it fits like a glove. Yeah. I can like this is something that I wish I had back in the Ranger Regiment. This Good is training. something yeah. this is something that I wish my team was all issued because this is something that they can benefit from not only from the the weight of it but just the how modular it is and you I from what you told me the features are in this thing Freaking awesome. Yeah, so one of the things that we're most excited about with this collaboration, okay, is, is this is truly a collaboration about human performance. The kernel of everything that we've been working on together and individually as separate companies, right, why the collaboration makes sense is because we are all about helping individuals be the greatest version of themselves, right? This is how we're gonna help them build their Absolutely. own superhuman future. And so we're combining two technologies that are really quite amazing because they're pure of heart, pure of mission, and pure of science but they deliver outsized results. And so we're combining the Ice Plate XO XFT and the magic of Ice Plate Curve and all of that it brings to the table in thermoregulation and the environmental inoculation as well as the performance enhancement advantages. Uh, and we'll go into more detail and more science about that later, uh, but it's really quite tremendous. And we're combining it with what We Go Home brings to the table in terms of supplements, which are incredibly pure, right? There's, I've never seen anything like them. And just so you guys know, I pay retail. I buy Trung's product myself. <laughs> like, you know, I could ask him to send it to you, but I don't. It's worth every freaking penny. And that's, I think, one of the many 
areas and the many levels where you and I really, you know, click, where our value systems align. We want the purest, we want the best for our customers and for our fellow countrymen. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, because the the, the, uh, the individuals who follow us, the individuals that follow core performance, you know, we all raise our right hand uh, to swear an oath, you know, and, and we put our lives on the line and we, we, we expect to be on top of our games. Our community expects that. Our partners expect that. So we we all, expect it of ourselves. We expect it of ourselves. And that's why this collaboration works because both companies have high standards and we, and we will not accept anything less than the high standards. Nope. Absolutely not. And so we're going to bring Tropical Storm and we're going to bring the pre-workout together with XFT in a unique collaboration that you cannot find anywhere else except coreperformance.com and wegohomeapparel.com. Can't wait. So guys, uh, let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. We'll be happy to answer those. You're going to see a ton of comment content coming out very soon uh, where we'll release a lot more of the details and the technical specifications of the collaboration of Iceblade XO XFT, and we can't wait to share them to you. Tron, thanks again for coming out, man. Yeah, absolutely. Really yeah. special. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Catch Thank you guys, guys later.